In this video, we will cover how to install sword black drop bar shifters, including how to mount the levers to the handlebar, how to adjust their reach, and how to install a shift and brake cable. For drop bar lever installation, you will need a 5mm hex wrench, 5mm hex bit, and a torque wrench. For reach adjustment, you will need a 3mm and 1.5mm hex wrench. First, roll the hood towards the brake lever and loosen the band clamp with a 5mm hex wrench. Turn the bolt counterclockwise a few turns, but not too many. You don't want to separate the bolt from the clamp. Slide the band clamp around the handlebar and position the shifter close to where you think it will sit. Gently tighten the clamp with the 5mm hex wrench to hold the lever in position. Do the same with the other shifter. Final adjustments will be made later. Once the levers are on the handlebar, set their height. A good starting point is to use a straight edge that extends from the lower edge of the drops. Line up the bottom of the brake blade with the flat edge. Of course, that doesn't work with every handlebar design, so another good rule of thumb is to adjust the height of the bar until the top of the shifter hood is flat, or a little bit angled back toward the saddle. Some lateral adjustment can be made, but generally the shifters are designed to work best when mounted in line with the flare of the handlebar. Make sure the levers are symmetrical and torque the band clamp to 8 Nm with a 5mm hex bit. Roll the hoods back into place. Now that the levers are installed, it's time to route the cables. To install a shift cable in your sword black shifter, put the shifter in the high gear or small cog position by pressing the small shift lever until it stops clicking. Then roll the hood towards the brake lever. Thread the cable through the cable port on the lever body and out through the top of the shifter. The cable exits the shifter through the housing stop. There is no need to adjust to remove the cable housing stop on top of the shifter. Pull tight to make sure the cable head is fully seated in the shifter. From there, install a ferrule on your 4mm shift housing and route the cable according to your frame manufacturer's guidelines and follow the sword black derailleur setup manual. For brake cable installation, pull the brake lever. Pass the brake cable through the cable head seat inside the lever body and make sure the head of the cable fully seats in the lever body. Seat the brake cable housing in the back side of the lever body and follow your frame and brake manufacturer's guidelines for proper cable routing and brake setup. To adjust the reach on the sword black drop bar levers, peel back the hood from the top of the lever body. Use a 3mm hex wrench to adjust the reach. A clockwise adjustment will bring the brake lever closer to the handlebar, and a counterclockwise adjustment will move the lever further from the handlebar. Once the brake lever's reach is set, you need to adjust the reach of the large shift pedal. Make the adjustment with a 1.5mm hex wrench after moving the small shift pedal out of the way. A clockwise adjustment moves the large pedal towards the handlebar, and a counterclockwise adjustment moves the pedal away. Set the long pedal reach so it gently contacts the back of the brake lever. If you don't make this adjustment, you may hear rattling over bumps, and the long pedal will catch the brake lever during shifts to larger cogs. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please email us at service at microshift.com.